guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I'm a registered dietitian. Here on my channel, we talk about all things food and nutrition and wellness and sometimes other stuff too, so welcome. Today we are talking about wellness of the planet. We're talking about plastic and how to use less plastic. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, the coral reefs are dying and global warming's real. So uh, we should all probably get our act together and start doing what we can to save the planet. So this year I am going to be doing Plastic Free July and it, I know that I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect. I know that it's almost impossible these days to not use any plastic, but I'm basically going to be consciously trying to use as little plastic as possible. So in the spirit of Plastic Free July, I thought we would talk about how you can also use less plastic and specifically five um, items I've purchased that you can also purchase for a fairly low cost um, to help you to use less plastic. I think plastic use is a very simple way that we can start reducing the harm that we are doing to our planet. I mean, how hard is it to bring a reusable bottle instead of buying a plastic water bottle? It takes virtually no effort. Heck, it might even save you some money. So, anyways, now that that little rant is over, let me just read you some facts real quick. So if you don't believe me that making these small changes to using less plastic will help, let me just tell you. Eight million tons of plastic waste enter the ocean each year. At this rate, by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Just let that sink in for a minute and maybe try not to cry. Plastic pollution is so bad because what happens is you dispose of this plastic, it ends up, you know, sitting on soil or in the water and as it breaks down, it contaminates that soil or water. In addition, birds and fish and other animals eat this plastic and it kills them, either from the chemicals or from just plastic stuff being in their system or from suffocating in plastic bags. Um, yeah, it's pretty terrible. And if you are not sure how this is gonna help anything, the plastic industry hugely contributes to global warming. Pretty much all plastic is made using oil or gas of some sort, which contributes to carbon pollution. To make one plastic water bottle, it takes 82.8 grams of carbon. So if you're thinking about that carbon footprint, that doesn't sound like a lot, but given that over 563 billion plastic water bottles are made every year, that adds up really fast. So we're killing the coral reefs and the oceans and the fish and the birds and contributing to global warming. So if we can do our part by just bringing a reusable water bottle, I think we can make that effort. <laughs> so if you agree with me and you would like to use less plastic, then keep on watching. So the first and most simple item that you can get to use less plastic is a reusable water bottle. This is my personal favorite one. It is from Hydro Flask and this is the really big one. I think it's like 40 ounces. Yeah, this is 40 ounces and I love it. I drink a ton of water so I love having a huge water bottle with me so I don't have to constantly be refilling it. Um, I always take this traveling with me so that you can, I mean, you can bring empty water bottles into the airport and on airplanes. So then you can just go fill it in a water fountain in the airport. And it just makes it really, really easy to always have water with you and not buy plastic water bottles. Kind of along the same lines, if you're like me and you love iced coffee or just like iced beverages of some sort. Um, I realized that I was going to Starbucks like, you know, three or four times a week, getting an iced beverage and it was coming in a plastic cup. So I decided to get a couple of these glass um, cups, I guess, um, and pretty much any coffee shop or anything really will use 
your own cup if you bring it. In fact, Starbucks even gives you a discount for bringing your own reusable cup. So this one was actually only $9.99, plus it was 50% off at Kroger since they're closing, and so I just bought a couple of them. And yeah, again, it doesn't have to be an expensive purchase. I guess we'll just stick with the drinks category. Um, and so the last drink thing I have is reusable straws. Again, we use something like 500 million straws a day. That's insane. And if you think about, you know, half the trash you see on the beach or just everywhere, you're seeing a ton of straws and it's just not necessary. So, I mean, firstly, don't ask for a straw if you don't need it. But if you do need a straw, then get some reusable ones. These were like $8 for a four pack or something on Amazon. And I love them. They come with a little um, cleany thingy. What is it called? They come with a little pipe cleaner so you can clean them out. Um, actually, I really, I prefer drinking through these because if you're drinking something cold, it makes it like extra cold because it's like the metal straw. And yeah, you're saving so many straws by doing this. I went to dinner the other night and she brought plastic straws in plastic wrappers to the table. I was like, why, why? So get you some reusable straws. It's really easy. So the next one, again, is super simple, and that is reusable grocery bags. So I don't even know where I got this one. I think it's like a shop, small Raleigh um, bag, but you can buy them at grocery stores. I'm sure you could buy them at like the dollar store or something too, and just keep them in your car. And honestly, unless you're doing a huge grocery shop, you really only need like one bag to fit all your groceries in because they're a lot of them are a lot bigger than the typical grocery bag you know if you think of every time you go grocery shopping you use however many grocery bags sometimes you don't even need a bag and they just give one to you you go and get like one thing and then you're using a plastic bag and it's just not necessary and it could be so easily fixed by just bringing some reusable grocery bags with you and finally the fifth product uh, is also a bag and that is reusable sandwich bags so this this is the ReZip brand. I got these on Amazon. I think it came in a pack of four. I don't remember how much it was, but I will link the ones that I got below. Um, I know like Stasher bag is kind of the most popular one that I see everywhere. They're super expensive. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a quality difference. I don't really know because I've never felt a stasher bag, but these do just fine. Again, this is something that is so simple to switch. Like who cares if your bag is in a sandwich bag or a reusable bag? It takes no effort to make that switch. Honestly, it's probably saving you money because you buy these bags one time rather than buying a box of sandwich bags every month or something like that. Um, so again, a super easy swap. You can just put these in the dishwasher and then leave them out to dry. And uh, yeah, they work great. So those are five simple swaps that you can make to reduce your plastic use this month. I hope that you learned something today. If you want to do Plastic Free July with me, then comment down below that you're doing it with me. And also let me know what tips you have because there are some things that I don't really know how I'm gonna cut down on. Um, one thing I'm worried about is just like food packaging. Uh, I eat yogurt and I'm still trying to figure out how I can, you know, stop using that plastic without just not eating yogurt. I think I'll probably just buy the bigger tubs and put them in smaller containers rather than buying the individual tubs. But anyways, things like that I have not quite figured out yet. So let me know if you have any tips for stuff like that below. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope that you will consider trying to use less plastic in your life. As you can see, it's really not that hard. There are simple swaps that take little to no effort at all and we can make such a big difference if we all start making these changes so yeah i think that's it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you have not already and i will see you next week bye